Dean's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. This is Briar Rose's place. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Why is the door open? Anyone in there? Witch here. Really? Someone in there? Your way. Yep, still locked. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. History. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. Same brand we found in the open arms. There's a message. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Watching you work? If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> Wish I had this earlier.
I, uh... Jack? Wow. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places... This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. You know, I've always wondered, do you get that wet dog smell when it rains? Like, do you have to wear a poncho? Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! <sighs> are you... Uh, are you alright? Normally, you know, I wouldn't care. But I think my motherly instincts are kicking in. What the hell happened? I wouldn't worry about that right now. Ah, come on, Big B. You can't do anything to me in the condition you're in. Even if you wanted to. Am I right? So, come on, man. Really, what happened to you? You first. You are such a fucking creepy dog. Person. All right, fine. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little Robin Hooding never hurt anyone, right? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Alright? You know, this tortured, lonely pig-eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? What are you looking for? Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh blocking the doorway there, if I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I may not know why you're here, but... If it's information you want, I'm the guy to ask. I know things. I could be really useful to someone like you. If you make it worth my while. Nothing? Nothing going on upstairs. Okay. I'll just lay it out. Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on. What do you say? How about this? How about I tell you so you know I'm good for it? Then you can reconsider my offer. Okay? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's gotta be something illegal. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh. Come on! The White Deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? 
The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? Jack? Well, since Bigby seems to have lost his ability to speak, I'll be happy to explain. I'm here to offer my services. What does that mean? I had some information about Crane and his witch I thought the business office might be interested in. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. 